Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Madwell Tarot. Uh, the apologies for my absence yesterday. I was doing manual labour. A friend of mine's house was very severely damaged last year and the house is now habitable again, damaged by fire. And uh, so lots of hard work yesterday and I'm still feeling it today. But anyway, I'm back here at the tarot table with the Disney Villains Tarot uh, for some light relief today. And that's because Harry the Dragon Slayer has been suing the, U the British media for years. Now, apparently, according to a source on Twitter, apparently information is coming through that Harry is now, or, or, and Meghan, now thinking of suing suing the US press. Reason being that uh, they feel that they are being unfairly represented by the US press. Uh, very frustrated about how they're being um, reported on. Everything coming with a bit of a slight according to this Twitter source. And they were particularly upset about how the Archwell delinquency saga was reported, the jam rollout, and of course the Pat Tillman saga. Harry very upset because of course Invictus Games is his prized possession, shall we say, and uh, was very upset by the way that the US media were reporting on everything to do with that Pat Tillman service award. And uh, apparently they have reached out to their lawyers at least twice to see if they can proceed against reporters, against bloggers, against news outlets in the United States. And Harry, uh, according to the source, believes that the nasty British tabloids have a hold over the American press. Uh, that's their influence that is basically causing this nasty spin, the way uh, this... Uh, false light that the Parkles are being represented in by the American press. So, um, tarot, uh, Disney villains on the tarot table. We're going to do a little five card reading. I'm interested in this story because it follows hot on the heels of Lady C, one of her late uh, most recent videos, just talking about Harry and Meghan's relationship. And she says her sources say that Harry is beginning to realize or to blame Meghan. For their unpopularity, for the way people have turned against them, for bad decisions, bad choices, bad advice. And so I'm wondering, and part of this reading is going to be trying to find out, whether Megan is kind of steering him in the direction of blaming the American press so that he doesn't blame her. It's a way of, you know, it's, it's useful to have a common enemy if your relationship is imploding. Instead of blaming her, uh, she can say, oh no, but it's the American press's fault, not mine. Not my managers, agents, lawyers, Oprah, friends like that. It's, it's actually the nasty uh, American media who have been tainted by the British tabloids. So we're going to look, we're going to see how Harry and Meghan feel about the US press, whether there might be a little of coaxing on Meghan's part and um, who he might be or they might be tempted to sue. And uh, what's the outcome? What's the relationship going to be like between the Parkles and the American press? As I understand it, much more difficult to sue the American press than it is to sue the British press, which is what probably prevented them so far from actually taking action. Um, that's my ignorance. And let's remind you, as we discuss my ignorance, that this is just tarot for fun and entertainment. It's all my opinion. It's all speculation. And uh, I just read energy here and there is a disclaimer in the box below. We have the page of coins as our underlying energy. Pages are about communications. Um, it's the student card of the tarot as well, learning stuff, contracts, negotiations, things like that. It's in reverse. Um, it's a very interesting card to show up here because there's a lot of speculation that um, at least one of the, the residents of that mansion in Montecito might be in cahoots with the press and um, sending little uh, tidbits to them um, and that there might be some kind of financial arrangement. That is wild speculation. Uh, whenever a source says there is a lot of speculation that the source might be coming from very close to home and that page of coins is a very interesting card as I say it just nudges me to uh, remember that speculation to mention it shall we say page of coins in reverse that little deal 
might have soured somewhat recently. Just speculating. So let's see the situation. The Parkles and the US Press, we've got the Nine of Cups. Um, that's the smug, self-satisfied energy here. It's you should be reporting in glowing terms about us. Uh, those, are those, those nine cups are all those awards. Um, see how triumphant we were. Are oh, were is a very <laughs> unfortunate slip, isn't it? Um, we're so popular. Those cups are about popularity. We're living our best lives. We're living. We often um, you see this in comment sections by people like guest speaker Harry's and Megan are living their best lives. They live in a mansion, um, and they have all these A-list friends, and they spend their days surfing and partying and going to glamorous events. That's what should be being told to us. It's interesting that that Nine of Cups has a little pitchfork there. It's kind of tempting, is those Nine Cups, aren't they? Uh, indulgent energy, um, giving in to your, uh, giving in to temptation. There's a suggestion of that in that card, but really, it's about see, we're living the dream, uh, but living the dream with a bit of snark in it because of that pitchfork. Interesting. So let's see. Uh, the view of the US press at the moment, in particular Harry's, but uh, how do they feel about the US press at the moment? We've got the Three of Wands. Um, interesting because it is about growth and expansion and might be feeling that the US press is uh, benefiting at their expense because it's that expansion energy is really something that goes out into the world and spreads with a hope that it's going to bring a kind of return. So we've already got the page of coins here on the table, which is financial deals, contracts, negotiations, conversations around money in, in reverse, a little bit dodge. And then we've got this three of wands, this messaging that's going out. Uh, but it's going out for some sort of return. It's a spreading energy that's interesting for me because we've been told by the source that they speculate, they suspect the hand of the British tabloid press in this. And that is that spreading energy in the Three of Wands, that contamination, that plague that's coming from across the water to them. Traditionally in the Three of Wands, you have ships going out across the sea with something and something coming back in return. There it is, the suspicion that there is influence reaching from across the ocean. Uh, is Megan encouraging Harry to see where she's sort of uh, encouraging this obsession? I have the Seven of Swords. How very interesting. We have a shoe with a very high heel, a slipper, and we have uh, a scroll, and we have a rather female uh, a pair of hands there with quite a conspicuous blue ring. And we have seen quite a conspicuous blue ring on a certain hand, have we not? Uh, and the Seven of Swords is a card of rather shady behavior. It's sneaky behavior, it's untoward, unethical behavior, yes. When I see a card like that, the energy that's coming through for me as a tarot reader is, yes, there is something going on here that is a little shady. I think he's being encouraged to pursue the American press rather than to blame his darling wife over here. And it's sitting with this page of coins in reverse, because of course, this page of coins in reverse is the underlying energy. So those two go together and you can come up with quite an interesting little tale if you put the energy of those two cards together, a speculative tale, of course. So who would be in Harry's sights particularly? Who would they be wanting to sue and why? Any clues? The list was reporters, bloggers and news outlets. And we have the Queen of Swords here. 
queen of swords female energy female energy top of my head i can't think of anyone except someone like perhaps megan kelly um who's uh, I think she's a Scorpio, so that would be a Queen of Cups energy. But she's Queen of Swords. She was, of course, very prominent in news media and now is on her own show on social media. I can't remember what the host is of that show, but that's the energy that's coming through. I can't think of anyone else that's female energy that's so prominent as a critic of Harry and Meghan. She's very vocal. Um, plenty of, of British ones, but we're looking at American. Uh, do join in down below and uh, say who you think that Queen of Swords might be. Air sign normally a Queen of Swords would be, but it's telling me it's communications that's transmitted because it's swords. So going out over the airwaves, so to speak, but we would include things like the internet in that now. So she's the one that springs to my mind, but there are plenty of others. I'm speculating, of course, I'm expressing my opinion for tarot for entertainment purposes only, but that's an interesting energy that's coming through. It's a very strong energy. It's upright energy. And when the sword is upright, it is a sort of truth and justice and uh, very hard to counter. So good luck with trying to see there. So uh, interesting, hmm, a little bit of uh, skullduggery in this reading that I'm sensing, that I'm in. Uh, reading intuitively how's the relationship between the park halls and the u.s press going to go going forward what is going to be going on we got the knight of coins in reverse that's a harry card knight of pentacles earth sign prince harry and harry in reverse um this little uh, little bit of entertainment down here that i speculated about the start of this reading might be stopped because it's progress that is stopped i don't think that the u.s media the u.s um, news uh reporters and whatever else i don't think they're going to be stopped not at all not with that card it's too much harry energy uh, for me as a tarot reader doing these royal readings and that is harry's energy so uh, uh, energy is in layers for me always i often say this so there is some of this little uh, bit of skullduggery that might come to an end but if it hasn't already but this knight of coins is harry and so it's Harry in reverse. This tells me that Harry isn't going to succeed. If he's going to want to do this, to sue, he's going to be prevented from doing it because knights are about action. And a knight in reverse is stopped from doing whatever he wants to do or it spins off into chaos. It spins off into shadow energy. Um, so if he tries this, it's going to go badly for him. Knight of Coins in Reverse. It also tells me, because of the layers, it also tells me, and this is actually the dominant energy that's coming through for me, it tells me that he is going to carry on going down and down and down. They're going to, uh, it's going to be hit after hit for him in the US media going forward. His reputation is going to be more and more tarnished not as a result of their own um, agenda or the undue influence of the British media, which he suspects, but as a result of his own behavior, his fall from grace, which is very visible now. And I suspect me uh, expressing my opinion is going to carry on going down. I think it's going to be very hard for him to salvage something of his old reputation, his unearned reputation in the United States. It was the gloss that came from being um, adjacent to the British royal family. He's lost that now. Now he has to stand in his own shoes and be his own man. Um, and he does seem to wear shoe lifts uh, to try and elevate himself. But I think right now everyone knows that it's a bit of emperor, uh, emperor's new clothes there in that night of coins. People see it. 
uh, we're at that point now where the, the child has shouted and pointed and everybody is now seeing what um, the truth of the matter. That is my opinion, of course. That is the reading. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.